Hi everyone, in today's video I am going to discuss about writing a C program to convert a decimal number into its hexadecimal equivalent without using the concept of arrays. So before coming to today's topic, I just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video, click on like button, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any questions then let me know in the comment section. Now let us start our discussion. Let me first write the output of this program. When this program gets executed, it will ask user to enter a decimal number, number. then let us suppose user enters 20. Then how we can find the hexadecimal equivalent of this number 20? We just need to divide this number with 16, 16 ones are 16 and we are left with 4. So the hexadecimal equivalent of this 20 is 14. So now we need to write the logic of this program. So the logic of the program includes four steps. First step is to find the remainder. Reminder equals to num. Let us this value 20 gets stored inside this variable num num mod 16. Then hex is equals to hex plus reminder into power of 10 comma i i value initially will be 0 okay and with each and every iteration the i value gets incremented by 1 next num is equals to num by 16 then i plus plus so these are the four steps we need to perform to convert a decimal into hexadecimal equivalent so how long we need to perform these four steps until the value 20 becomes 0. So we should use while num is not equals to 0. Okay. So until and unless the value stored inside this num variable becomes 0, we need to perform these four tasks again and again. Now let us try to trace this program. So let us see the first iteration. Okay. Now while while num num is 20 20 is not equals to 0 yes condition satisfied when the condition becomes satisfied the control will come inside the while loop to find the reminder reminder equals to num which is 20 mod 16 and we will get 4 as the reminder then next is hex equals to hex we need to initialize hex to 0 okay 0 which is hex plus reminder reminder is 4 into power of 10 comma i so 10 raised to i is 0 initially i will be 0 so 10 raised to 0 so equal 0 plus 4 into 10 raised to 0 is 1 so we will get 4. Okay. 4 gets stored inside the variable hex. Next is num equals to num by 16. Num equals to num which is uh, 20 by 16 and I will get 1. Then i plus plus. i plus plus. So now i becomes 1. Initially i value was 0 after incrementing it by 1 now i becomes 1 okay after the first iteration i will have value 4 stored inside hex and 1 inside num now again 1 gets passed to the while loop in the second iteration while 1 is not equals to 0 okay 1 is not equals to 0 condition true that's why control will come inside this while loop to perform these tasks. Reminder is equals to num mod 16. So num is 1 mod 16 which equals to 1. Next hex. Hex equals to hex value. In the earlier iteration hex value was 4. 4 plus reminder. Reminder is 1. 1 into 10 raised to 
I. I value is one. Okay. Next, four plus ten plus to one is ten. Ten into one ten. So four plus ten equals to fourteen. Then num is equals to num is one by sixteen. We will get zero point zero something. Then I value gets incremented by one. Earlier I values was one, so now I becomes two. Bracket closed. Now you can see after the second iteration, I have fourteen stored inside hex, and num becomes zero. And as you can see here, this fourteen is your answer. Okay. When the value of num becomes point zero, then this zero will get passed to while where. Once again, this while condition gets evaluated. Zero is not equals to zero, where the condition becomes false, and the control will come outside the while loop to print the value of x. Okay, so this is how we can convert any decimal value into hexadecimal equivalent. Now I will use this logic to write a C program. On screen, now I need to declare the variables. Yes, since this program is expecting one value to be entered by the user so to store this value 20 i need to create one integer variable let us say num okay int num and i need to store the hexadecimal value in the program so to store that value i need to create hex variable hex equals to 0 then I need to initialize i with zero. Then a reminder. Okay, so these are the variables required. Now I need to display a message to the user. Enter decimal number, and I need to read that number. Num. Now I need to write this. While num is not equals to zero. Reminder equals to num mod sixteen. Then uh, hex is equals to hex plus reminder into power of ten comma i. Next num is equals to num by sixteen i plus plus bracket closed. After completing all the iterations till the value of num becomes zero, I will be having answer fourteen get stored inside this hex variable. So now I need to print this hex zero bracket close. Okay. So this is how you can set the logic for converting any decimal number into its hexadecimal equivalent. I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys have got some useful and valuable information from this video. If you guys like this video, click on like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you guys have any questions, then let me know in the comment section. And thanks for watching.